All right, welcome. So this is, um, we're gonna talk about vanilla perfumes in my, in my collection. So tell me about the vanilla perfumes in your collection. Which are your favorite vanilla perfumes in your collection? I would love to hear about them. Put that in the comments. Leave a like if you come and watch this later on. You know, if it's still processing, you can't get to the live chats. It'll be coming up. I promise it'll come up. It'll come up. But anyway, welcome. We're going to be talking perfumes. We're going to talk perfumes. And I've got eh, about 20 out. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I thought I had 20. Hey, Karen. I thought I had 20 out. So it's only 18 of them? Hello, Indessas. Hello. Um, I thought I had, I had, thought I had them all out. I thought I had them all out. So we are going to be talking about them from now. These are the ones that have like a prominent vanilla. You know, vanilla is in so many fragrances. It's one of those, you know, um, base notes. Um, well, honestly, well, I mean, if you really start buying, when you look at your perfume, a lot of them, you know. Um, we, sometimes you smell you can really smell the vanilla or it's just in the it's in the base to really ground the fragrance and to make it last and things you know and so it's a staple in them so you will be surprised how many actually have vanilla in them these are the ones that you can really the, the vanilla is prominent in them so it's buffering let me don't do this no let me go back here Okay. Okay, let me know if my if I'm still buffering or am I not? Let me know. Am I buffering still? Let me check. Let me check and see. I can do that. Okay, back. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, a lot of fragrances have vanilla in them. It's just that, um, it's just that you know, there it's just it's just a part of the base note, so it sweetens it up, and you really don't smell the vanilla. Well, these are um, ones where the vanilla is prominent that you are going to you know actually smell vanilla. And you're gonna know. Okay, there's some vanilla in here. So. Um, now the thing with vanilla with a lot of them that are when you can really smell them and they're prominent is usually more um heavy scents that are usually kind of like fall winter kind of vibes not to say you can't wear them when you want to but just oh this shit is going um back and forth um but they're they tend to be a little deeper richer scents so that's why a lot of times vanilla ones are um are you know really worn in the winter time a lot you know people think of them as comforting and you know just oh they're so warm they're so this oh i forgot to take this one out that's why um i knew there was one i was missing so night another one i think i missed uh oh hold on y'all before i drop some shit okay all right so that's what that's the thing about the vanilla scents is that that's one of the things that comes up is that they you know they're more they're like you know the feel like you should be at the fireplace you should be cuddling up with somebody smelling like you know you should be like you know cake so we're gonna go through some i do have some that i think are actually kind of vanilla but either are good for all the year all year or can you know kind of like our summertime kind of vibes so let's go on and get to it now i did put this up on are you all still here because i don't i can't see things so put up something say something um do i agree with what do i do i agree with um that um i agree with some of these are very heavy very deep scents that i wouldn't necessarily wear in the summertime because they would be too much like the, you know i think that some some things you can wear whatever you want but I do think, um, but I do think that some just really don't play well in the winter, in the summertime, because they become so. Um, I think depending on, because I have some that are good for warm weather, but I think some of them can be. You know, like some are just too 
too much because of the the other you know notes in there and they are they are geared to be cold weather like in cold weather they bloom better whereas um you know whereas other time other you know in the summertime they're just going to be too sweet on your skin like i like sweets you know but i think some of them can be too sweet and with that heat and that sweetness coming off of you it can be cloying so it you know and so the thing is with it is if you're going to wear it in the summertime you have to be kind of light-handed with it and that's something that i would play with like certain things if you want to wear it in the summertime wear it but just play with it until you can figure out how it's going to smell um no and you don't because you don't like sweet perfumes that much so that makes sense that um that a lot of yours wouldn't be um so we're gonna talk about vanilla because i did a poll and most people were talking about vanilla so we're gonna go vanilla today um right vanilla and co I got that. We going there. So, you know, vanilla can be with the tropical flowers, but like a lot of them aren't. So you, you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get started with the first one, which is Addict. This is Dior Addict. Now, it's just the bottle. We know the bottle, the bottle, the bottle. All right. So this has mulberry, mandarin leaves, night blooming flower, whatever the hell that is. It also has um, orange blossom. It has a little uh, Bulgarian rose, a little sandalwood. I'm just looking at it. Tonka bean, vanilla. And then another thing is a lot of times you will see vanilla and Tonka bean um, paired together because Tonka bean has that kind of vanilla, but it's not quite as sweet. Uh huh. Right right this is this is michelle's which is dior attic oh you like fruity florals okay see i have a lot of fruity florals too and those are more like what i want for the summertime but you live down south which makes sense um yes um and it's just a beautiful now dior attic is one of those things that in the winter time it blooms you could actually get away with it in the summertime, but you would definitely just have to do like maybe one or two sprays. You cannot overspray this baby because then you will drive yourself insane. But it is such, <laughs> Michelle is in. She came right in when we started talking about it. But it is such a beautiful classic fragrance that, and it's, you know, it's got the floral in it. It's, it's very heavily floral, but the vanilla and the tonka bean and the sandalwood, they round it out. And they're right, well, she came right in on that. So I love it for that. Boom. All right. I'm gonna go with the heavy ones first, and then I'm gonna get into the lighter ones. Um, right, right. Have the attic out, and it's like Michelle, here's it, addict, and she's in. Now, of course, we know I love this one, and I know this and like on this, this was too much for Michelle. This is our rehab Choco Must. Which is like I always say, if you want to smell like a vanilla hot chocolate, this is your job. This is your jam. Now it does actually have rose in it and a little jasmine. So when it dries down, it becomes like a chocolate rose. But this is such a this is a gourmand. This smells like food. You smell like food with this on. So this is one of those things. Uh, um, so right. <laughs> So this is one, this is a serious, I mean, like when you open this up, you smell vanilla. It smells, um, this one is like 12 or $13, very inexpensive. This is one of the most inexpensive bottles I own. Um, so it's, that's one. I'm gonna go with this one because this is Oud Bouquet. And this is a classic. <laughs> but you sit in, in an air conditioned space anyway, so you're fine. Um, yes, it's on my Amazon page. So this is Ubu K. This is Maison Lancome, which, okay, let me just say it. Lancome has a, having a 20%, um, yes, $15. Um, Lancome is having a 15% off sale and they're on Afterpay. Just throwing that out there. But Ubu K is such a glorious 
scents. It is, it is oud, it is vanilla, it is praline, it is rose, and, and you find so many times you'll find oud, rose, and vanilla a lot. So it is just got, and now, this is an oud for somebody who doesn't want that deep, you know, the oud is, is here, but it, and you smell it, you can smell the oud, but it isn't so strong, it's not so woody that it can be overpowering. So this is um this is really pretty. This is a, a cult classic. This is another cult classic. Beautiful vanilla. Now this one honestly, you could honestly kind of get away with it in spring. I wouldn't wear this in full summertime, you know, but this is in spring. So that's one. Uh Club, yes, you would like it. Club de Nuit Intense for Women. All right now this one now this is uh said to be a dupe for because arm off is a you know they do a lot of dupes this is a dupe for time force noir de noir so this has um this has this is spicy rose it has ooh, it has saffron in it it has um let me look at the rest of the notes for this one. It has rose in it. It has oud. It has vanilla. It is really full, but it is so sexy on. This is a super sexy on the skin. This is, but this is full on wintertime. I wore it this wintertime. And let me tell you, um, right, right. Um, but when I wore this in the house and I went outside, it was strong as hell. It was like the cold air hit it and it was like, poof. it was like an atomic bomb hit my skin. And it was just, and, and when I got in the car, it was super strong. So this is truly not something that I would say wear, you know, and if you do, you better wear this shit sparingly or you gonna wear yourself out. So this has geranium in it, rose. Um, let me see what else is called in it. It's got, ooh, it's got patchouli. It's got a little pepper in it. It's got saffron. In it. it has rose in it, um, a little tonka. Doesn't have a little tonka. No, it just has vanilla and violet. So it has. So there's a little violet to bring it down, give it a little powderiness, but not too much. So this is like now. And I know that Armoff makes Club de Nuit Intense for men. Also, they have another version. Um, they have. Do you want to smell it? I can send you. Don't. I got you. If you want to, you need to just tell me what you want to smell, girl. Let me go through my shit. I'm going to find some shit to send you. Um, <laughs> but this is like, they have the ones and they smell like a Ventus and everything. But this one is actually could be worn by a lot of people. By, um, you know, it's kind of unisex. Even though this is marketed to women and Noir de Noir is a women's fragrance, men can wear this one too because it's very, it's got the spice and it's got the vanilla. The, the um, florals aren't that, um, it's not like girly floral. You know, it's that unisexy floral. So Club Nuit Intense for women. Let me go with this one. Um, the the chocolate musk, right? You have see you got not noir de noir. Um, this is Elizabeth James Nirvana bourbon, three notes. It has tuberose, vanilla, and and um, tuberose, vanilla, and uh, what's the other one in here? Why am I why am I blanking out, y'all? And oak. That's it, right? So this is tuberose, vanilla, and oak. Mm. Now, there's not a lot to it. It's a boozy vanilla. Um, and, and this is one of those boozy ones. Um, this is like a boozy vanilla. So it's got that booziness to it. And it's got the tuberose in it, which we know I love some tuberose. But the tuberose isn't so um prominent that it becomes that bubblegummy one but it is a beautiful beautiful three notes scent three notes but it's really nice um i know that i don't think they're making them anymore but the elizabeth the nirvana ones are really good i need to get a few more so i like that one so that now this one is one actually you could wear anytime honestly I, you could wear this i wouldn't say high summer but definitely in spring Definitely in spring. You know what, Jenna, if 
for her, you know, it's just something about it. Everybody else likes it. It just depends because I like it, but it's it, it's not too strong for me. If it, it could be too strong for you because on um, Michelle is way too strong. So yeah, love this uh, Nirvana bourbon. It smells so good. The two pearls and vanilla are just lovely lovely together ah oh, melissa you're so sweet they just do something to me the tuberose and vanilla yes uh no that's off of uh amazon ain't no returns it's 15 dollars no they ain't let you return that shit just let you know right now <laughs> for ap exam okay okay now um and the thing with vanillas a lot of vanilla fragrances are very sexy that's the other thing they are pretty damn sexy sexy all right or they smell like you want they want to eat you okay which is uh, uh, kind of sexy too yes yeah that was a michelle choice that was she gave me you know because michelle is one of my fragrance people she's my fragrance consultant her and her her and and Coco. Me and Coco talk fragrances all the time too. And Coco has a different style than Michelle. So it was two different types of styles. Alright, so this is Deep Desire. <sighs> yes, men do like vanilla. This is by Roberto Cavalli. First off, we love the bottle. The bottle is just lovely. The bottle is lovely. Right? The, the, now it has cacao in it. It also has... Um, it has uh, jasmine sambac in it. It has mandarin orange. It has a little orange blossom in it. Some patchouli, a little pink pepper, and uh, vanilla. Tonka bean and vanilla. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this has tonka bean and vanilla. This is... Now, for some reason, when I spray it and there's nothing in there, uh, yeah. Now, some reason when I spray it, um, no, pink pepper is always good. Pink pepper gives things a little spice, but it's not too much. So don't be afraid of pink pepper because pink pepper gives it a little spiciness without it being overwhelming like black pepper. This one is very sweet. Besides that, it's got the cacao in it. So it's got this chocolatey vibe with it with the orange and the oranges. So it's like a chocolate vanilla, but not like choco must. This is more of, um, this is more of a, uh, uh, a, a, floor, a fruity one. So there's a little more fruity vibe to it. It smells, I promise you, when I first smelled it, it smelled like wine. And it has like this kind of wine vibe to it, but there isn't any grapes in it. Um, uh, right, so it's just, but it gives it enough spiciness. So this is more like where Choco Musk is chocolate and, and vanilla. This is like fruity vanilla. I don't know why, but it's really pretty on. It's got this like orange, mandarin orange, because the mandarin orange sings in it right so it's like the mandarin orange with the chocolate and the rose and the vanilla so you kind of get this like really citrusy vanilla chocolatey kind of vibe and so this so that's deep desire by roberto cavallo let me just i'm, I'm getting a yeah pink pepper is really nice in fragrances i didn't think i was gonna like it as much because when i first saw, saw stuff with with it in there i was like mm, i don't know if i want this uh, right pink and pink sugar is a classic i'm not i still don't have it i still don't have her i still don't have her all right let's talk this one this is feminite du bois by serge luton so this is Feminita the Bois by Serge Luton. Um, this one smells like this one. Uh, ooh, that's a that's a fabulous cousin. This one has African orange flower. It has cloves in it. So this is um, um this is a very spicy 
vanilla it's got plum in it this one smells like it's got benzo in it it has it has a lot it's got cedar in it it's got cinnamon it's got cloves it's got ginger it's very spicy um it has plum it has musk in it um a little peach so hi how are you this is um serge luton Feminita Dubois. So what I want want to buy is that, that he has these they call vapor vapor tours. They only we don't get them here very often. So it's like two ounces. Two ounces cost me less than a, a 50 mil. So I got a little bit more, and it's like a one ounce in each. Uh, Benzoin is um uh, it is a it, it puts a little sweetness in and it's like a um a resin. Benzoin is a rosin. So it puts a little sweetness in it. Um, but let me tell you, this is a spicy, plummy, peachy, oh, it's got a little rose in it. It's got a little florals in it. What this smells like to me though, this is my ultimate Christmas scent. This smells like the holidays to me. This smells like to me, like, you know, like when you're going around people and they've been baking and everything, and you know, you smell the cinnamon and the cloves and everything. That's what this, brings to me right now that's what that's what this this is what feminita dubois is for me so like this is like my holiday scent so when i got i said oh yeah it gets you compliments because it is this like really beautiful spicy vanilla y you know it's got a little tonka bean in it it's a really pretty and rich but it it does remind me of like the holidays so you know with the plum and the and the orange and everything and and the peach um yeah so right this is called feminite dubois feminite dubois by Sir Jouton. um so this is feminite dubois and so um it's just i love it for that time of year and like i like i said i got it and that's when i was wearing it and then i was like okay i'm done with it for the year yeah exactly right i wore it like it um i think i had it for thanksgiving no i know i did i wore it on christmas and it just it was just like it was just perfect for a christmas day you know for christmas we do christmas eve it was just perfect for christmas eve just to have on your fragrance and everything so that was so that's feminite then we have we're gonna go with this one Let's talk about Inara Oud by Swiss Arabian. Okay, Inara Oud. Now, Inara Oud is a classic um, rose oud, vanilla kind of combination. But the thing that's, um, the thing that makes this a little more different than the usual one is that it has a, a herbalness to it because there's valerian in it. So this one has, um, let me look at this one right quick. This has valerian in it on the top, which gives it this kind of, um, oh, damn, I went down quick. Huh. It gives this um, a, a herbal, like a, a green smell to it, which is a little different than most of the ooze, the, um, the rose ooze that I have. So it gives it that. So I love it for that. Um, and then it also has, of course, it has rose. It has a uh, lychee in it. It has um, a little peach in it. So this is a little different, a little raspberry. So on the top, it has lychee, peach, and, ro and, and um, raspberry. So this is a little different because it, it's more, um, it has a, it's more of a fruit, it has a fruit, fruit base, which is, um, no, it doesn't make it skanky. The thing with this one is, is that it makes it different because it has that, that herbal scent, but the herbs and the and the fruits make it more interesting. Because the thing with it is, I like oud a lot, and, I, and you wind up getting a lot of rose ouds. So you, I want them to have some differences. And so this one is different because it has that fruit in it, which is not normally what you see in a um, in a oud based fragrance. And then it has saffron in it, so it has the spiciness. And then it has the vanilla in it. So it has the vanilla gives it a little sweetness, but it has that fruitiness to it with just the rose. So I really like this one. Um, this one, you could wear it in spring. I wouldn't wear this in summer. I know somebody said they wear it in summer. I would never, um, 
I would never wear this in the summertime, you know, just, it just isn't something that I will wear because it is a very strong scent. Um, but it is very sexy and, and it has that like a little difference for me. Now, would I say that everybody should try Inara Oud? Um, I don't know because to me, I like it, but I love Oud. Um, this one, the oud is prominent. It's not a skanky oud, but the oud is prominent. So if you want a more gentle, subtle oud, no, that wouldn't be for you. All right. Parfait. No, this, I'm sorry. This is Rose's Berberanza. Now, Rose's Berberanza has a lot going on. It's got rose. It's got honey. It's got, oh, it's got the pistachio on it. Y'all know I love this fragrance, right? The vanilla is on the dry down and helps to ground it, but it also gives it a kind of booziness with it. So it's got this kind of boozy vibe too. Uh, this is not for everybody. And this is uh, because it has such a sharp pistachio in the beginning that it is not for everybody. But the vanilla in it and the, and the rose, you know, they they combine really well in the in the base notes. So the rose stays true. The, now the pistachio doesn't last forever, but it does last kind of long. But it's got honey in it, so it's really got a sweet, syrupy, vanilla, candied rose. So this is, but this is candy rose, like for real candy rose, you know. So this is that is a very that's my winter Maison Lancome roses. That's my winter one. Yeah. Now my summer spring one is Parfait de Roses. Parfait de Roses is kind of similar to Roses Barberons. It doesn't have pistachio. It's a much lighter, fresher one. It's got um, it's got a liquor accord in it. So it has a booziness to it. So it's got the liquor accord. It's got the honey in it. I mean, it's got the vanilla in it. It's got the, the roses in it. Oh, parfait de roses. She's so gorgeous. I've been I've been wearing Okay, you can see. I've been wearing her. I haven't had her that long. Yeah, I'll see. I'm making a dent in her already. I, you know, I just... She does something to me. You know, she just does something to me. Let me see. It's got liquor in it. It's got benzo in it. It's got out. Oh, it has aldehydes. Um, what rose roses barbaranza? Yeah. See, um, it is slightly powdery. It does dry down to a powder, but I love. I can smell the vanilla in it. I can smell, but I think you're getting the aldehydes, the liquor, and the vanilla. Oh, this baby is so fabulous to me. I love her. I love her. I love her. Now let's get into some super sexy. Right. No, I know. Let's talk about some super sexy ones. This, of course, is this is La Ecstasy La Rose. Aldehydes is a chemical um, accord. Um, and they're in most old school fragrances like Chanel number no. five. Um um, it, like Chanel number no. five, like think Chanel number no. five and that 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 strong scent that you don't quite know what it is. That's an aldehyde, and that's the only way I can explain it. Is that aldehydes are strong? They give it kind of a um, right. You said eucalyptus mintiness, and that makes no sense to me because, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So um, this one has benzoin in it, cedar on the dry down. Um, it's got um, musk in it. It's got taif rose. It has patchouli, a little pink pepper, uh, and the taif rose, and then the vanilla. Okay, so this one right here. Um, I'm not a... But a lot of people don't like Chanel number no. five. Chanel number no. five is very polarizing. They do say the eau de toilette, the low, is better, but I don't know because I ain't got it. Um, I like Chanel number no. five because that was what I started out. But it's, Chanel number no. five is very powdery, you know. Um, but as as 
Coco says, this is a candied rose. This is a truly candied rose. Gets the candiness from the vanilla in it. And then this is Thai Eve rose. And so this is a specific Middle Eastern rose. So this is like a very gorgeous, sensuous, candied rose. And that vanilla does candy the hell out of this rose. So this is like, this is date night. We talked about what this is. And this is definitely definitely cooler weather um it like for me it's like attic it, it it really is like attic attic is very cool weather to me this is like cool weather sexy to me too oh we think he's starting to teeth he's been real fussy tinky pants has been fussy 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 now let's talk so if you hear him that's why because he shouldn't even be up now but his teeth and his gums, we think I bother him. He'll probably make an appearance in here in a few minutes, just as soon as she hands him to me. Yeah, this is Scandal by Night. I want to get the other ones, but I have Scandal by Night. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that with the vanilla body cream. Now, this is a honey bomb. But it does have the vanilla in it to temper to work with the with the honey, but it also has um, orange blossom in it. This is a really sexy ass fragrance. Scandal by Night is super sexy. It is, but sexy on that sweet tip. So if you don't like sweet ones, this ain't for you. Um, but Scandal by Night has honey in it. It has. Um, I don't remember which one's the. It has citrus notes. It has, um, didn't I send you this? Um, nard. It has Himalayan amberwood. It has white musk in it. It also has, um, it has cherry in it, it which surprised me because I cannot smell the cherry in this. But it has cherry in it, which makes sense because it does have, um, right, that's what her low is better. Um, honey in it. It has, a little musk it's got the orange it's got the orange blossom it's got patchouli in it it's got a little pear <sighs> oh so scandal by night is um so this is just a really pretty sexy um oh i love scandal by night so this is just like a really pretty sexy vibe the honey is just it just is very and it's not too much honey because honey can be super syrupy sweet to me i don't like too much honey i like a little honey but it is the honey bomb it's got the honey in it but the orange blossom and the orange the fruit pair play off of it the vanilla dries down into that vanilla with the little sandalwood and patchouli oh this is sexy 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 so that's that now speaking of my other little baby ones you know i want to get in this one the one ounce so i kind of play with her because um then we have the essence at alien essence absolute i did not expect to like this as much as i do because y'all know i went and got a backup of two ounces of it oh, 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 oh man 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 she is a sexy vanilla amber so it has definitely has the alien D dna in it but it adds in vanilla and for some reason the vanilla just really helps it out um now i ain't gonna lie i have become an alien girl as we can t tell because i got 17 of this has myrrh in it um how am i killing y'all oh i'm sorry and this has myrrh it has cashmere wood in it, it has amber jasmine of course it's got the um, vanilla in it it's got incense in it so it's kind of got this incense -y vibe to it it's a really um orris root so it has a slight powderiness but not really it's just a really nice spicy incense -y vanilla alien and i like the fact that they leave a little alien dna in there in all of, in in them but they pull them away enough to make them all interesting. Um, so this is Alien Essence Absolute. 
Now, I am getting something that might be almost a dupe for this. So as soon as it comes in, I will let y'all know. Because this, you know, you cannot find. It's discontinued. So that's a little bit harder to find. Um, next up, we're going to talk about this one. Because we're talking about the really heavy, heavy vanillas. This is Velvet Vanilla by Mancera right here. Now, Velvet Vanilla is a tuberose uh, and... Um, vanilla it has angelica it has clove it has white musk it has black currant in it it also has um jasmine a little mandarin orange some neroli pear pink pepper it's got a lot going on rose tuberose vanilla okay let's talk about her this is a bubblegum tuberose when you if you know anything about tuberoses sometimes tuberoses can go um <laughs> that um it has that bubble gummy vibe so it can go it can smell like bubble gum on you hi patience now so so if that's something that you don't want to smell like then don't get this one um but this smells like but it the vanilla is strong in it and it's the tuberose and the vanilla that really stands out it does have the sweetness from the pear and from the from the um the fruit that's in it so it's got a, a, that fruitiness to it but what really stands out is the tuberose and the vanilla so that's why it, it really is velvet vanilla um this i like it but i'm still not sure about it i'm buffering So you have to, this is something I would say, this is not a blind buy unless you know you like tuberose because the tuberose is very prominent and the vanilla is very prominent, but it's a very sweet tuberose. So you'd have to really like be into that kind of scent. So that's the only thing I would say about that one. All right, let's get into some, uh, Hey, so let's talk about some more that are kind of fresher that I would say, you know, wear. Now, this one is my all year round, which is Shalimar Souffle Intense. This one, now, I know we would say this is like fall and stuff, but for me, honestly, I would wear this all year round, right? This has a very, it's a citrus and it has vanilla and what it smells like at the end is like a lemon pound cake right damn you miss chilies <laughs> it does look like a tequila sunrise though but it, velvet vanilla i personally will wear this all the time it's a very a nice pretty day fragrance and it's not too strong it's not too intense but it is definitely a lemon cake because at the end it's like vanilla and lemon and that's what you smell on you a whole for, that's the dry down the dry down is like lemon cake so i this is like something you could wear all year round all year round because it isn't too it's not so intense it's not such a heavy scent but the citrus and the vanilla in here smell so good together all right then we have, and like Coco was talking about, when you put cocoa, coconut and vanilla together, that's great for the summertime. This is Dolce Garden, which um, which is so funny because it's called Dolce Garden, but the strongest scent in, the strongest note in here is the coconut. So you get the coconut and the vanilla scent a lot. So it's so funny because that's why it's like, it's Dolce Garden? But really, it's really coconut. It should have been like Dolce, Coco, Dolce Coconut because it's a serious, then that's why I like it because it has this really strong coconut smell. I, it's just, you know, I'm going to be like smelling like a coconut in the summertime. So let me tell you what's in here. Let me find her. Okay, Dolce Garden has frangipani, almond milk, woods, um, woody scents. It also has coconut in it. It has magnolia, mandarin orange, neroli. I have this on my database and vanilla, right? So 
it has the mandarin orange and the neroli so you get that that um citrusy smell from those but honestly it's more about the coconut and the vanilla so it's almost like a suntan lotion kind of vibe it's one of those almost suntan lotion kind of things like they always say oh this smells like suntan lotion that's kind of the vibe here because it's more about the coconut and you get the mandarin orange and everything you know but it's like but it really does sing really well on the coconut and the vanilla. So I really, I, I tried this on in Ulta and I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting this. And that's how nice it smelled on me. I was like, okay, yep, 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 I'm getting this, I'm getting this. Now this is a classic, of course. And this is Bronze Goddess. This is the 2019 version. They do do something different in a lot, in most of them. Um, and the way you can know it is basically is based on the bottle style. So this is definitely 2019. I got it last year. These always have like, you know, kind of a coconut base. Bronze Goddess, their Estee Lauder. This is their, this is their classic line every year. They do for summertime. This is the Bronze Goddess line. So this one has amber in it. Has coconut. It has, uh doesn't have a lot in it uh the hell what else does it have in it sandalwood tiari flower and vanilla so it doesn't have a lot of notes so it has tiari flower it has coconut it has vanilla and sandalwood that's it but it's such a nice pretty um you know summertime fragrance it's just very beautiful it's very it's very it's got that tropical vibe to it just makes you feel like you're gonna be on the beach and you got that you got enough vanilla in it with the coconut to make it beautiful now this one dolce garden is more coconut vanilla this one bronze goddess is a little more the sandalwood the tiari flower so it's a little more floral the tiari flower is very prominent in this one which i like it for because i do like the tiari flower and now these two now these are the new ones this is angel edt which is better than the original angel because i don't like the original angel it doesn't smell good on me this one it does have a serious magnetic closure though so it's kind of got this magnetic closure but i really like this one because it's the little comet one it's so pretty um and then this has um red berries in it bergamot uh, a little musk in it patchouli of course pink pepper some praline and vanilla now this is a lighter fresher angel so if angel is too strong for you it's too patchouli heavy the patchouli isn't as heavy in here it's really long it's just really pretty. Oh my God, I love it. It's so light and fresh. It's got the berries in it, so it's got a sweetness to it. Uh, don't get me wrong. I used to love Angel when it first came out, but I can't wear it now because it's too patchouli heavy. It's too strong. It's just too much. Whereas Angel EDT is just lovely and beautiful. It's beautiful. And now, and of course, I got this, the Orchidee Vanille. Now, you know, I just got this one, so we don't know. I don't know nothing about her yet. I don't know nothing about her. Apparently, time, um, oh, the magnetic closure is nice. Yes, if you like Angel, you will like that one better. You will like it better because it really does have the Angel kind of vibe, the because you can get the angel DNA from it. You get that angel vibe with the patchouli and everything. But it's a much lighter, fresher version of it. Then we have Van Cleef and Arm Pels Orchid Ebony, which I just got today. So I cannot talk about how fabulous it is. But so far, so good. It is beautiful. But it is a, this is a classic vanilla. Everybody talks about it. She's a gorgeous little bottle. It's part of the Extraordinaire Collection. It has mandarin orange, it has a little lychee in it, has um, ginger, no, bitter almond, violet, vanilla, cedar, tonka bean, rose, um, vanilla orchid, dark chocolate. 
So it's a really, but I can, it's um, j just off the bat, it's um, it's not as strong. It's kind of, it's kind of like, it's got a powderiness to it. Ugh, she's gorgeous. Because the, it's not as sweet, and then it has white musk. So it's not as sweet as some. So this is most most definitely cuz and let me tell you why this is a floral. So this is this is considered a floral, so that's why you like it. Danny, because you have a lot of fruity florals, it's just a floral, right? So this is powdery. It's got a little balsamicness, balsamic vibe to it. It is really pretty just off the bat and I want to see how it actually wears on my skin and everything, but that is it. So those are all the vanillas. Yay, I did it, I did it, I did it. So that was 1920, it was about 20 of them. So we did 20 vanillas, yay. So we, those, and these are the ones that are most prominent. Now, honestly, I want, if I go through, there's like, there are uh, at least 50 perfumes in my collection that have vanilla as a, as a note in them. Now, are, is it like a prominent note? No, but it has vanilla in my collection. But there's these. Boom. Now, Danny, you said you like fruity florals. Um, let me check something. You like floral fruities, right? So you would like amethyst, which is by Lalique. You would like amethyst is a floral fruity. Our room is a floral fruity. Dahlia de Ben Nude is a floral fruity. Uh, that is a discontinued faith. Feminita Dubois. Didn't you say you like this one, Danny? That's why it's a floral fruity. <laughs> see that? See, say so you're true to what you like. This is a floral fruity. Um, this is Pico de Amalfi. I can see you like that. Flor de Sol. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Hey, so Karen said, I see light blue doesn't smell good on me, but I, I know why you bought it though, Coco. Stop watching Polina Sklar. Cause she was just talking about that. I just saw that video. I know where you got that from. I know where you got that from. <laughs> Yo ass. <laughs> you need to stop watching people. know where you got that from but um anyway oh because she just talked about that in her little video so i was like did you watch that one um yeah so the fruity florals and um now the thing is is like with summertime i like fruity florals i like florals i like um those are a lot of the ones that i have for the summertime are florals fruity florals because I do like um, I do like the combination of florals with fruit because it takes the fruit the the fruit the florals down some because sometimes uh, like a floral can be just too much you know if it's just all floral it's just a little too much you need other things to ground the floral the the um, the flowers and so that you don't smell like you're like 92 years old the 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 fruitiness grinds um balances them out and it also balances out the fruit because you sometimes the fruit can be too much but the, the you know so they each help each other out so so now karen mentioned that i should possibly do this and we might do this which is you know we'll have a night where you just talk about some of the notes that you like um um and then we can try to see what stuff in my collection i could like recommend to you um so or the 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 community um uh, Oh, that does sound good though. With coconut and tiare flower, that sounds good. It might make light blue bearable for me. <laughs> Cause light blue and me do not get along. Um, but for real, we could do that. And as a community, we can help like, oh, you like this? So we might do some of those. So we might have a, let's find, let's pick out some fragrances for you to try. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but we'll have a night like that soon. Um, it does, doesn't it? It does. All right, so thank y'all, thank y'all. My head is starting to hurt. My head's been hurting for a while. So, yeah, I think that would be fun. <sighs> so let's go on and survive Rona. 
Coconut can make all kinds of stuff better. It really does. It gives it that sweetness that you want. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It really does. Coconut. I love a good coconut scent. Coconut brings me back to my, my childhood, though, because I think there was something around me that smelled like coconut, and I really liked the smell of coconut. I think it was probably like suntan lotion and like um incense like i think i used to smell some coconutty incense because something about coconuts i really love the scent of so anyway that was just you know an aside uh anyway let's get out of here let's get out of here it was lovely talking to you all again as always thank you so much for hanging out with me let's go. it will be a good day week for belly dancing so i will be teaching a lot next week which reminds me i gotta i gotta practice a little more all right, y'all have a great night. Talk to you all. When is it? Tomorrow's Friday? Yeah, we'll talk Friday night. You know, we'll have a Friday night. What should we talk about? Right, right. Right, okay. Good night.